my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com, and this is the Weekly Bone. We kick off this week with some IFA 2013 news and we start off with the Samsung Unpacked event. We've been talking about this event, we've known about the Note 3, we've known about the rumors of the Galaxy Gear, and now it's time to talk all about it on the Weekly Bone. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is finally here and we thought it couldn't get any bigger, but we were wrong. A 5.8 inch display is now basically taking all of the front panel of the Note 3. It is now a 1920 by 1080 panel, so that means a full 1080p display, which is beautiful and it's also a super AMOLED display. The specs are also something to smile at because it has a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 800 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. That means it's a big powerhouse, it's humongous, it's powerful, it's fast, it's gonna be LTE on AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, all the other networks like T-Mobile and US Cellular will pick up the Note 3 sometime in the October and November time frame. The next interesting product out of Samsung at the IFA 2013 conference is the Galaxy Gear. We've talked about it a couple times on the Phone Dog website, we've reported about the rumors, but we've never really mentioned it on the Weekly Bone. It is a Samsung smartwatch, which means it is a Samsung smartwatch. That's basically what it is. It's a 1.63 inch display to resolution of 320 by 320. It is super AMOLED if you were wondering, but it is connected to either your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 or the Galaxy Note 10.1 running Android 4.3. The only reason why it's only connected to those two devices are those two devices will ship with Android 4.3. Other devices, once they get upgraded, will be able to work with the Galaxy Gear. So basically, it connects to your phone or tablet via Bluetooth for displays information like weather, cell information, basically anything that's happening on your device can be displayed on the little tiny display. Obviously, it won't be running video or anything, but it does have a 1.9 megapixel camera that's capable of taking 720p video and also normal 1.9 megapixel snapshots. The device is kind of controversial because once it was announced, a lot of people gave it slack because it, well, it didn't really do anything very special. It was a watch that did watch-like things at a very high price once we figured out how much it will cost. T-Mobile have already come out and said the smartwatch will cost $300 on their network if you connect it to your Galaxy Note, which is very, very, very expensive. And would you pay $300 for a smartwatch that really didn't do a whole lot of stuff? I wouldn't either. Next up, we're talking about Microsoft Surface tablets. The first Surface tablets were actually kind of successful. They didn't sell in ginormous numbers, but I do know a lot of people who still use a Surface tablet because it actually is a very usable product. It's a laptop and a tablet, has USB ports and SD card slots, and it runs Windows 8. So all the Surface tablets now are going in the sale bin because the new Surface tablets will be coming very soon and Microsoft themselves have now sent out invitations about their September 23rd event in New York City, which means a new Surface tablet will be announced, new specs, new hardware, new models maybe, new sizes we can see, we'll have to wait and see, but all we do know is to expect some Tegra 4 quad-core processor goodness in there, more RAM, maybe even a 1080p display on the new Surface tablets, but all we know is it's definitely going to be a big step for Microsoft to take. Well, that's all the time I have for this week's episode of The Weekly Bone. You can follow me on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Marco, and I'll see you guys in the next video.